So, what do we have here in this room? Uh, we need to use a chain. And we get a file. Well, that's nice. Uh, we want to take a look over here on the right first before I check out that. This gives me the book about flowers. I use the book about flowers to find the five seeds. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's it for now. We're going to go back and we're going to use the seeds on the mice. That gives me this little medallion thingy. Here you want to use the file on the Cinderella. Making her look slightly less evil. That gives me the second ring for the medallion. So with this medallion, you want to spin it around. Make a picture of Cinderella. That gives us the key. They've ruined everything. Stepmom, stepsister, terrible people ruined my life. They totally did ruin your life, Cinderella. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Okay, so uh, using the key there gives us some acid. We're going to use acid so we can grab these boards. Hmm, I think we're missing something. So let's go back. And let's see. Anti-magic powder, that's right. I can use that here. Yeah, that opens up uh, this, this, this little pathway here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I still still am missing something. So now I go back and solve the hidden objects challenge. Kind of a different one. You want to put items into place. So this goes in the compact, right? And then this goes inside the mirror. And the quill goes by the ink. And the glove goes by the glove. And the star goes on the wand. And this gem goes in on her uh, little hair decoration. That's part of a triangle. Uh, that piece of fruit matches the other one. This is part of the lever. That's the item we're going to get. The water glass goes by the jug. And the candle goes inside the lantern. So, the lever! Yes, let's use the lever. That pulls this thing, which is old and broken and totally unsafe. But it comes with a fork. <laughs> okay, we're going to use the fork to bend those nails. And now I have a hammer and nails. I use boards and a hammer and nails. You want to click on every single hammer. Click on every single nail. That is. And now you have a puzzle going down. Going down, down, down. So what you want to do is click left and right to move that yellow ball left and right. And you just want to do this until that meter at the top fills up. So it's probably best to try to keep it in the center. That way if you move suddenly you have uh, more time to react. Okay, this looks good. Good. Uh -huh -huh. Tilting too far to the left. Yeah, this is sort of like a hot air balloon. Sort of. It sort of looks like we're inside a hot air balloon, but we're not. We're inside a basket, which is on a line. Okay. We're almost halfway there. Whew. Oh, boy. Not a tough challenge. Just a long one. Sure hope it's not the case that you have to start over from the beginning again if if your marble goes out of the pink zone. Oh man, I'm getting dizzy moving left and right. Ugh. I'm not sure I could do this in real life. I I, I would have a terrible fear of heights from this high up. the old town. You can do it. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, because the screen keeps tilting, obviously, that's part of the challenge, but it, it makes it seem like I'm about to fall out of the basket. That would be the tough part of this challenge. Done. Whew, 
made it. Sweet revenge. I don't have much time left. I must stop her. I have to stop her before time runs out. Okay, there's the uh, mouse and the morphing object. Let's see, where is that second mouse? Here. Good. With that out of the way, now let's explore the town. This is uh, another segment of the game. So this is looks like it's uh, part four of five out of the five areas we examine in the main part of the game. This sign is unstable. You just want to throw a snowball at it. Two snowballs. Just like before, you need to click when those two things are overlapping in order to get the item. Over here in the back, we have a scrub brush. And I was trying to click on the sign, but the sign, not the sun, scrub brush. Over here on the fountain, we can use the brush to clean off the fountain and we get ourselves a coin. So the coin goes over here. Put it in the slot. One coin gives us the emblem. So we're going to grab some acid here and use the emblem on this machine. And that gives us the code to the fountain. So, one is pumpkin. Two is mouse. Three is shoe. Four is wand. Five is carriage. Six is horse, seven is book. Cleans the fountain, giving us three tokens. So we'll use it here on this little store. Three tokens gives us uh, a book. Book thingy. Cool. So we want to take a look at the signboard and use acid to free that door knocker. We're going to take a look at this door over here on the left. We put the door knocker into place. We grab the gem and we use the ticket for a hidden objects challenge. Okay. This one is kind of a doozy. So you need to find matching items. So those are two things that match. These are two things that match. Really hard to see that though. A uh, flower with flower. And let's see, two goblets together. And then again, flower with flower. This is a globe which goes with that globe. Uh, these two feathers, they look very similar. So that's easy to get those. Uh, a clock with a clock. A bell with this picture of a bell, which you can barely see, but it's there. And then this device with this device. There are two different types of compasses. This blue ring with this blue ring. And you want to pull this in order to get the feather duster. So feather duster with feather duster. And now you need to find all 12 of the cards, which are just scattered all over the screen. So, by order of the King of the Crystal Kingdom, the old clock tower is closed for construction, entrance only with permission of the King. So you need the King's permission. Well, I don't have permission, so I'm just going to fake it by using the feather here. By order of the King, a guest named Jeanne is allowed to enter the clock tower. Yeah. Yeah, that should work. Forgery. Exactly what I need. So that will let us get inside the clock tower. Fortunately, this is a mechanical person, so the mechanical guard lets us through. Woohoo! It's too late. Ah! You can't stop me now. Cinderella, you get away from here. It's time to use a spell. So you want to use your spell scroll on Cinderella. And this is a bit of a challenge. What you want to do is make this symbol. So I recommend with this one starting from the top and working your way down. Okay, symbol number two. So obviously if we're going to go up, uh, straight up, we have to start here. And then we just follow. Finding the correct starting point is the important thing in this puzzle. Here it looks like far right, far right. So far bottom right, and then I'll just move accordingly. Gotcha, Cinderella. Or not. The portal is open. Watch as I change the past. No! no! 
there's no time for tears. I can still restore the portal and stop her. No time for tears, unless they are the magical tears which give us cool items, in which case it's definitely time for those tears. Crystal tears! Okay, so Cinderella is going into the past. Oh my gosh. Oh man, so we get to find out what really happened hundreds of years ago. Because we have to make this right. Oh, we have to make them see we can save the Crystal Kingdom with their history. All right, so we get a crown over here, and uh, let's see. I want to put the gem in place and then use the code. Oh, and I want to get this jack, too. So you want to move uh, the levers so they match the picture. That gives us a cage. Ah, it's made out of wood. We need to open it somehow. So use the jack over here to get one of those. It looks like we're going to need uh, some sort of crystal flower. Here we have coins by a raccoon. So now we go back down. We're going to use the coins to get some fish for the raccoon. Excellent. And we're going to use the crown on Cinderella for a bird wing. And we have another hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Also tricky. Let's see. You want to grab this sun and then use it on this container. That gives us a pumpkin. We've got a king who needs crystals. And he holds a book. But we have no book or crystal here on the bottom of the screen yet so we can't get those items instead you want to use the pumpkin hey this area has crystal but we can't pick it up because there's no crystal at the bottom of the screen yet so instead we just grab the moon and we use the moon on this one and now we can finally clear up some inventory space you want to grab uh the cinderella and you want to go back here you put cinderella into place and you grab the crystal then you grab the book and put the crystal in the place. And this gives us a mask. Getting back to Cinderella, we put the book into place. That gives us a heart. So we're about halfway through. We got rid of about half of those scrolls. You want to put the heart into place here. So you take the shoe and put the mask on the prince. That gives us a creepy, creepy face. You put the slipper here. And you put the creepy face there. Hi, ghost Cinderella. That gives us... A crown. Use the crown to open up the last message for a key. You're going to use the key here. It's going to give us a magic powder. Great, 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 great. So magic powder. So we're going to go here. We're going to use the fish. Giving us two items we need. One of them is the rose. That gives us a saw. We use a saw over here on the cage. And this bird needs a wing, so we're going to use the wing there. And we have all the gears, uh, all, all the cog wheels. We still have to find a, the morphing item, yes. And one more mouse. Okay, we're, uh, 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 I want to find one more mouse. Yes, correct. Okay, so where is that final mouse here? There it is. Good. Finish with this area. Basically, I need to solve this puzzle. You want to move the gears around so they are in the proper spots, like this. That way, all of them are connecting and turning. So I use the magic powder to return to the past. We're going back in time. Am I in the past? I need to find Cinderella. Also, the two mice and the morphing object, all three in a row, right here. Very centrally located that's convenience <laughs> and yes this is the final location of the main game we're in the past three screens to explore in the past <laughs>